I could talk about being a dad forever. Uh, it's funny because I, I feel like being a dad has really made me appreciate being a son. Uh, my father died of cancer when I was eight, so I, I, I didn't really grow up with um, a man in, in my life or any male figures that I was looking up to. And I so desperately long for my son to have a man in his life that not only loves him, but that loves him like God loves him. We won't come up for this, so uh, it's better be good, yeah. Uh, his name is Kai, it's short for Malachi William. Uh, he's almost six months old now. One of the things that the Lord did in preparation in my life uh, to, to become a father, he, he made me start whittling. And I didn't really know why and didn't know what the deal was, you know, but I was sitting on my front porch in Alabama, just, you know, some whittling knives that I ordered off the internet and some blocks of wood I got from Hobby Lobby. And I was sitting there on my front porch and I was whittling a star. And the Lord began to speak to me as I was doing that, and He said, this is how you raise a son. You have to be able to look at him in his current state and see his intended state. You have to be able to look at a block of wood and see that somewhere inside this block of wood there's a star, and you have to see the, the size of it and the shape of it and the way it's positioned inside the wood. And then, simply, you just cut away everything that's not a star. When I look at my son, my job as a father is to see him not as he is, but as he was intended to be. And I feel like that is so what God did in my life and, and what God is doing in my life. You know, I, I, I look forward to the day at which I, I can say to my son, son, you need to stop doing that. Not because it's just wrong, not be, just because I said so. You need to stop doing that because I know who you were made to be. I, don't, I think I've probably said about 150 times, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Since, since this kid's been born, I'm just, I'm just satisfied with him. He's half me and half the woman that I love more than anybody else on, on the earth.